thought if America was really serious about alternative and renewable energy, we would figure a way how to tap into Rosa DeLauro. <laughs> we, we, could light the, we could light the nation. But to Rosa, thank you so very much. All of America knows Rachel Ray. It's a, it's a very, very popular cooking show that she hosts, but it's more than a cooking show because it's about sound advice to families and to parents and to single individuals uh, about how they can have wonderful meals that are cost effective, if you will, that are nutritious and that they, they, can, uh, they can enjoy. Uh, but she's taken her advocacy way beyond the show. She's taken her time, her resources and her talent to create Yummo, an organization that's been working to improve the quality of food served in schools. She's made numerous trips to Washington to talk about that. She's one of the reasons this bill is moving along because she's a very impatient person. And, uh, <laughs> and in New York, she's created several healthy meal options that have become part of the lunch menu and served in more than 1,600 New York City schools. And that's an important part of this legislation, that we're allowing access by other organizations to, to participate in, in, in implementing a, a menu for school lunches that are exciting, that are nutritional, that are healthy, that, that, uh, that, that allow children to have the uptake in those, in those foods that are so necessary to them. But she's worked on pilot programs, and now she's here to support this legislation at this time of introduction, and I can't thank her enough for the energy and the use of her celebrity on behalf of America's children who need this legislation very badly. Rachel Ray. iPad that my husband gave me to organize my thoughts for today just decided it was too hot to work, so I'm going to have to wing this. First of all, I just want to say what a huge honor and an exciting opportunity it is for me to be here today, and I want to just thank from the bottom of my heart all of the uh, representatives and the senators and their staffs that have allowed me, a citizen, a waitress from upstate New York, um, to have a voice in this and to try and help be a part of it. You know, uh, a healthy relationship with food has changed the quality um, of my life uh, in every way imaginable. It's not only the way I make a living and the way I choose back to give to my community, but, you know, I really think that teaching a child good nutrition and the basics of cooking gives them the skills they need for, for, for self-esteem and for security for the rest of their lives. It's more than just controlling health care costs of the future. You know, when times are really tough, your hands won't shake when you go to the grocery store. You won't live in fear of literally going hungry because you know with a couple of bucks, you'll be able to provide for yourself. And I can't tell you what a difference that makes to your whole mindset. Just being able to eat a good nutritious meal really improves the quality of your life as well as the longevity. Um, you know, and Senator Gillibrand originally invited me down here and a few weeks ago I spent the day at, you know, taking my first stab at lobbying and I remember Senator Casey saying something so poignant to me. He said that every child in this country is born with a light shining inside them and it's our duty to keep that light shining bright. And I just feel so full at a time when we're going through so many difficult, uh, just horrible tragedies as a country and what's going on in the Gulf especially, to see us all coming together in such a pure way to help our kids. I just really feel like I've been doing this for three years now and I feel like now is the time that today is the first day of the end of hunger for our kids and the first day better I think that as Americans we're a land of such plenty that not many of us know what it's really like to close our eyes and think of what it must be like to be hungry. But imagine being a child and literally close your eyes and try and imagine what it's like to truly go hungry. The difference an apple or a good school lunch makes to these kids is more than just keeping them focused in class. You know, it's, it's just, it literally is everything. And I thank the First Lady for involving our whole country. Um, I really believe that Let's Move is everybody's common mantra now, and I thank President Clinton for starting our Yama organization for all of his support and guidance three years ago. And I thank everyone up here for, for everything they're doing for making my job easier and that we can have the conversation about ending hunger and lowering our obesity rates and getting our kids healthier. We can have that conversation easier and they're also making my job incredibly um, a, a lot harder. And I, I love hard work. It's another lesson I learned from food. They're, they're, they're giving me the opportunity and Mayor Bloomberg's giving me a lot of opportunity in New York City to plant gardens, to teach, to spend time with our kids, get into the cafeterias and out in the community. 
I feel so empowered and proud to be just a small part of this here today. Thank you. but also all of your work that you've been doing before the introduction of this bill. Uh, I said earlier in my remarks that this is a bill that America needs. This is a bill that's going to allow us to start to end not only hunger with our children, but to teach them and provide for them healthier meals and hopefully use the education system as a platform for part of the campaign against obesity. The schools are not going to solve this problem by themselves. But they're a very, very important platform in terms of educating and showing our children an alternative to an unhealthy eating style that, that inflicts many of them for many years. Uh, but we would not be here today uh, without the help of a really tenacious nationwide group of advocates and uh, people who brought the intellectual capacity to this legislation that have been working with us and working with local communities and schools all across this country. Uh, to shape this legislation because we wanted this to truly be a blueprint for ending hunger among our school children in this nation. And I want to thank the California Food Policy Advocates, the National Alliance for Nutrition Activity, the National WIC Association, the Food Research and Action Center, the School Nutrition Association, and the Center on Budget Policy Priorities. Thank you very much. from this moment forward to get this, get this bill from this end of Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue to the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue so the President of the United States, Barack Obama, can sign this legislation into law. So thank you very, very much.